This is Dr. John Whitcomb starting a tape for uh, news and nutrition from an exotic place that I might not otherwise use. The greenhouse in the background is where I spent my childhood at 7,500 feet in the Himalaya Mountains. It was called Buena Vista. So, picking up from there, the topic this week is on the fast mimicking diet for reversing diabetes. Now this is a really big deal. If you don't listen to anything else this year, this is the one. As we've learned over the last couple of weeks in looking at the fast mimicking diet, when you deprive a system of glucose, you dramatically downregulate your RAS system, which basically is turned on by glucose and turned off by lack of glucose. And what that really sets off is a whole burst of cleaning up autophagy, getting rid of old junk. And what happens with diabetes, and why is diabetes such a big deal? A little bit of background. First of all, almost everybody has it. Now, in America, modern medicine says you don't have diabetes till your blood sugar is above 124 a couple times, or hemoglobin A1C of 6.4. And a hemoglobin A1c is a simple measure. What it is, is that number stands for the percent of hemoglobin molecules in red cells that have a glucose stuck on them. So a hemoglobin A1c of 7 would mean 7% 7 of hemoglobin molecules have glucose stuck. So the higher your blood sugar, the more hemoglobin molecules get glucose stuck on them. Now, red cells live between 90 and 120 days, so let's say 100 on average. And so you're trying to get your A1C lower. Well, that's modern medicine. It says disease is 6.4, but we know you still have risk of Alzheimer's down to 5.5. So which do you want, 6.4 or 5.5? That's the difference between disease and optimal function. Or the Whitehall study from England showed that a blood sugar of 86 is where you don't have any heart disease. But for every point over 86, you have a 5% increase in heart disease risk. So is normal blood sugar 124? Or is it 100? Or is it 86? I'm going for the 86. So one, everybody has it. And two, it's so destructive. Blood sugar really drives just about every disease we have. And that includes Alzheimer's, heart disease, vascular disease, kidney disease, on and on and on. Blood sugar is the foundation of almost all of our modern diseases, high blood sugar. So getting it lower reduces all those diseases. And what happens when you do the fast mimicking diet? Within a day, you've used up the sugar in your liver, and within three days, your insulin level has dropped by three quarters. Your blood sugar has dropped. Mine went down to 75. And you turn on autophagy. And what that does is that cleans up old dead cells, and then you get a burst of new cells. And what's stunning, and Dr. Longo has proven, if you look at islet cells, with the fast mimicking diet, three cycles of fast mimicking diet in mice who are diabetic, their islet cells, which is where insulin is made in their pancreas gland, goes from ratty, old, beaten up things to rejuvenated, youthful looking islets. This is the holy grail of medicine. We can teach your pancreas gland to grow new insulin producing cells but you have to go through five days of glucose lowering. Once a month, that's all it takes. What will work for me? Well, I've got the diabetes gene in my family and I am eager to get it out of me. I want my A1C as low as it can be. My goal is to get down to 5.1. I started at 5.5, I'm two cycles into it. Give me a couple more months and I'm determined to get there. So I'm on this path along with you. This is Dr. John Whitcomb finishing up Fast Mimicking Diet 4 from a more normal location.